How about a new gimbal, a good old friend, a nice sidekick, and an epic motorcycle? <laughs> Welcome to Gothenburg. Tilta Alien Core Mounting System Hydro Arm. This looks good. <gasps> Ta da! Let's see what we got. Suction cups. I have absolutely no idea how to use this. We gotta figure it out. <laughs> I think that's how we always do. <laughs> <laughs> I have never used anything like this in my life. Take a look at this thing. That looks cool. Here's some kind of. Um... Ooh, that's a spring. Yeah, that's a suspension. So you get the Y axis mm -hmm. as well. But mm -hmm. like, boing, boing, boing. I gotta try one of these suction cups to see how good it actually sticks onto the car. When I tried it with my old suction cups, it didn't really work. I'm not having my hopes up. But since this is actually made for this specific purpose, it might just work. Oh, shit! Oh, oh. Come on, try to pull it off. Okay. Come on! It is. Back on there like this. This is not going anywhere. It's gonna be so good. Take a look at this. The most advanced setup to shoot with one of the cheapest car ever. But it looks so good though. I think that this is gonna be very, very cool to shoot with. Hello, we are here for a while. Okay, I'm going to finish it. Yeah, but we are here in 7 minutes. Okay, I'm going to finish it. Yeah, but it's good. Since it's not. Alright, Oscar is ready to go, Anton is ready to go, I'm ready to go. Now we just need the prop, which is basically the bike. Yeah! The Jäven! Fan vad lurig det var! Hallå, hallå! Welcome my dude. Hallå. Three dudes, one Yaris. Fits more than you think. <laughs> Onwards! To be able to pull this video off, I need to have a bike, and I decided to reach out to one of the best bike stores in the entirety of Gothenburg. You want them, so yeah. <laughs> Let's go inside and have a look. <laughs> Take a look at this bike. <laughs> Dude, it's gonna look so good. I'm ecstatic. You're gonna look so badass on this. That's a good sound. Everything is set up for the first couple of shots that we're gonna do of the motorcycle. We haven't used this setup yet. So we're gonna to try to see if we can get a couple of shots of Oscar driving behind the car. And since we're connecting the focus motor to the actual zoom of the zoom lens, we're gonna be able to get a couple of different shots from this very perspective. So we're gonna jump into settings. We're done, gonna do a little bit of calibration on the focus motor right now, so that we have everything calibrated and clear. Check this out. Ah, we just upgraded your Yaris with the most expensive and advanced reverse camera ever. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing? It looks so good. This is gonna be so epic. <laughs> Check this out. Just Oscar standing there. <laughs> <laughs> Really impressed on how good this works and how stable the footage looks. Being able to control like the focus, the ISO, the aperture and everything from inside the car while the camera is out here, that's just golden. We have a couple of shots in the bank 
It is currently 10 p.m. and here in Sweden it's still bright outside, which is awesome. So we're gonna run for approximately an hour or more and then we're gonna call it a day. Then we're gonna go early as f tomorrow. I'm not even feeling human today. What's today? Tonight? Yesterday? I don't know. Anton. Good morning. Good morning. How do you feel? Pretty good, actually. Are you uh, human or are you uh, dead uh, as f zombie as everyone else? No, I'm, I'm perfectly uh, human. This man. Never a sad face. We're gonna use a combo of the 24 millimeter and the 50 millimeter G lenses because we're gonna get a little bit of those epic wide shots and then move in to those detailed shots when Oscar is taking off his him. Hello. I'm just gonna use the gimbal as is. There's no need. <laughs> <laughs> no need for extra stuff now that we're just gonna capture this. I think I will use autofocus. Not entirely sure though, but it's gonna be very interesting to see. We shot a whole sequence and we keep that in Ah, so we're shooting with a wide balance of 6000. We're gonna use autofocus wide, and I'm gonna choose pan follow so that I can control the gimbal. When I'm in under slow mode, I can just turn the gimbal like this, and it's gonna follow my movement. It's gonna be very good. It's also very important that we do the ninja walk when we do this. So if you're not comfortable in using a gimbal, Mr. Rocky Balboa, try number 567. One of the key things with this short film is that we want to shoot as many things as we can in 25 FPS. The reason for it is because it's gonna give us the most motion blur because the shutter is slower. And if we were to shoot most things at like 100 or 50 FPS, it would look a lot more stuttery when we speed it up in post. Because when Oscar is out driving, we won't speed it up. And since the camera is close to the ground, we wanna make it feel like everything is going fast. And with the added motion blur, it really gives this like super fast look, even though I'm just walking backwards trying to catch up with Oscar. So it's very important to choose your frame rates according to what it is that you want to capture. Now we're gonna jump into the 50 millimeter, get a little bit of those close-ups, taking off the helmet and on the helmet and a little bit of details on the bike. Try to see if we can get a couple of cool shots from this perspective. We're gonna use the DJI Action 2 with an ND filter, ultra wide. Let's just hope it doesn't fall off. Five hours later, everything feels good. We got a lot of complimentary shots from the ones that we had yesterday. A little bit of a quick edit, you know, when I got home. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that because I feel so tired. I definitely think that the coolest kind of shots are the detailed ones. And it's so good to be able to use the 2875 pulling the different kind of looks. Do you think that we're gonna lean towards like evening shots, like night shots in this video? So we're gonna do um, a couple of more shots tonight. Tamron 70 to 180. This is gonna be the first time. It's gonna be very cool to see how the Ronin S3 can handle like a really telephoto lens on a setup like this.
kameran ja, typ vrider huvudet lite upp mot byggnaden. Vad är det för Ha, 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 ha,